All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is Remove What is Causing the Injuries. And, you know, a lot of times I think we keep doing things over and over again and we don't even sometimes realize the damage uh, that we're doing to our body. And uh, over the new year, I went to my friend uh, Robert. He's actually my co-host on some of my podcasts. He had an incredible party at his house and I got to meet some new guys. And I met a guy who was really cool from England and he was talking about, he was a runner throughout most of his life. And, you know, after a certain amount of time, his, like a lot of people, you know, their feet uh, start getting destroyed, their heels, uh, whatever the case may be. And I'm pretty sure he went to the point where he needed stem cell Uh, I think he had stem cell surgery or he had a shot of some sort. I'm not sure. I I don't want to screw that up, but I'm pretty sure he had some type of surgery. And that's one of the things I think he had done, which was pretty amazing to hear about. And he wasn't even, you know, sure if he was going to walk ever again correctly. And to hear his story, and he's very athletic and looks great at his age. And, you know, we were discussing how a lot of times, though, throughout the years, we kind of don't pay attention to what we're doing to our bodies. If you watch any of my podcasts, watch any, I'm sorry, if you listen to any of my podcasts or watch any of my YouTube videos, a lot of times I touch upon fitness. But this really isn't about fitness. This is just really trying to figure out what is helping your body and hurting your body. Because I do think a lot of times, and I discuss this a lot, what we think we're doing as far as helping our body, we're actually, after a certain amount of time, destroying it. Also, what we may have done in our past is definitely not going to necessarily work in the future. Uh, My mother was in town this week as well for the holiday, and she ended up falling at the movie theater, and she has a bad knee. And, you know, she's done a lot of physical labor throughout her life. She's very active, very strong. And, you know, sometimes you look at it, and she's actually talking about getting a knee replacement and kind of has been postponing it for many, many years. She's 70 now. And I think she has to understand that it's time to do this. Uh, My girlfriend's father had two knee replacements and he still plays tennis every day, which is amazing in itself. But he knew there came a time where, you know, he needed to make changes. Now, if you look at his lifestyle, I'm going to kind of throw it in his court now. He's been playing tennis his entire life. You know, by him playing tennis all the time, did it blow his knees out? You know, to a certain degree, I'm sure it did. But on the other hand, he is in amazing shape and he loves playing tennis. It is such a big part of his life. So, you know, sometimes you do do things, you know, you wonder that are such a big part of your life that giving them up almost is like a small death. Back to the guy I was talking about running, you know, which now it sounds like he's doing a lot of swimming, which I think is wonderful. But on the other end, my girlfriend's father, he still refuses to stop playing tennis. Um, So it's kind of you have this back and forth sometimes when it comes to taking care of your body that a lot of things you do or still do keep you in a certain type of shape. And then on the other end, those things you do may be, again, destroying you and preventing you in the future from maybe being able to stay in the same shape, I guess you could say. But I just want to do a podcast on this because... You know, a lot of times I talk about working out or just fitness in general because, or not even that, just longevity of life and where do you want to end up being when you're a gray hair? Like when you're older, what type of condition do you want to be in? And if you've had, you know, difficulties throughout your life, uh, you know, injuries could be, you know, small or large, you know, we really have to deal with those. Those are our own personal I don't want to say tragedies, but it's something we all have to overcome, I think, to a certain point. And especially if you've played sports throughout your life or you've done physical labor, you've done anything physical, I don't think anybody goes unscathed. I don't care if you've hurt your ankle, your foot, your knee, your hip, your elbows, your neck, your head, uh, whatever, your biceps, your triceps, your lower back. Uh, It could be anything. I think for the most part, if you're active, you're going to deal with injuries, but really figuring out if those injuries are worth the payoff. You know, I've 
tore myself up, especially when I was younger, uh, regarding my shoulder. Uh, I've come very close to tearing a bicep, a chest, my chest area, my knees, uh, just lifting a lot of heavy weights. Now, on one end, like I was discussing earlier, lifting heavy weights brought me a lot of strength and really helped build the physique I wanted. But after a certain amount of time, it literally was taking a toll on me where it was destroying my body. And, you know, the last few days, uh, it's the new year, 2021. I just wanted to take a break from weights myself. And I went and just did a lot of swimming and just doing some cardio, not extreme. Uh, I, I just went and actually just tried to test it. I did like a hundred laps swimming, mainly underwater, but I do all these different things in the water to see how I felt. I haven't done that in a long time. I usually just stop at 40 and I usually do it after workout. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to just go swim and see how I feel, and I felt pretty good, especially for all the crap I've been eating throughout the holidays and just eating out constantly. But I have to, at my age, now that I'm going on 52, I have to really start thinking about restructuring a lot of my workout. But the problem I have with myself, I'll just, and you may go through it as well, is if you have a certain type of physique that you like, a certain type of size, certain type of muscle mass, when you start to get away from weights, a lot of that foundation goes away. Not entirely, but it does for most people. I know it would for me, let's put it that way. And I'm kind of always caught between the two of them. But I definitely have to start paying more attention to my cardio. And again, that doesn't mean that I have to go out and destroy myself when doing cardio. And that's the one thing I'm going to touch upon this at the end is, I think a lot of people think as they get older, they have to up their cardio, Well, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But I see a lot of people who up their cardio. And it could be as simple as playing racquetball. It could be as simple as cycling. It could be as simple as even running or jogging. Maybe not at the speed you're playing at or at the pace you are running at or cycling at. You know, but just being aware. Because doing certain things again, what toll is it taking on your body as you get older? More, working out more, I think, is wonderful as you get older. But how you treat your body when you're working out. I see people sometimes going harder and harder as they get older, which is great. Not always just trying to keep up with their past, but just starting to feel you know, more fatigue. And they think by getting that cardio back will definitely bring back life. Sometimes it does. But I also think a lot of cardio also can destroy you and exhaust you. And again, the impact that it has on your body. I love swimming and I like doing other things, but finding things that are that keep a great amount of blood flow as you get older, but also not really taking a hardcore toll on your tendon joints and muscles. And that's one of the reasons I love swimming is because of the buoyancy. Because I know lift I know as far as what I've done throughout the years lifting a lot of weights, what type of uh what type of uh what I'm gonna have in the future as far as pains and aches, as far as that I think I'm going to have. And I'm going to probably have a lot because I went and I still go pretty heavy when it comes to lifting weights. But I also know when it comes to certain things, it could be legs, it could be certain movements that I'm doing. I know what's going to work for me and what isn't as far as what I believe in the future. And I think you need to as well. And this goes for, again, you work out it or not. I don't care if you're a woman or a dude that uh, just hypothetically clean houses in its physical labor, or you do construction, or you're a plumber, or you work for the city, or you know, even if you're a cop, or maybe you, you know, certain things you do, and it's not only like when you're moving, it's how much you're sitting, how much are you not moving. I think a lot of people have to realize the toll that's taking on their body as well. Because I think there's so many different extremes we go where we over pamper our body as we get older, or then we beat our body up, or there's, you know, we really need to find a sweet spot that's going to work with us. And it's going to take months to figure out, I think, certain things that are working and not working. But I also think you have to realize that I believe every day you're changing. So, you know, in a month or two, you may gain five or 10 pounds, or you may gain, uh, or you may lose five or 10 pounds. You're a different person. Physically, you're always changing as well. So don't ever get caught up thinking, you know, you're going to be doing the same thing or I wouldn't do the same thing over and over again. I just like to evolve and don't forget to always experiment. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, I'm going to be putting up uh, some new videos or 
actually, I'm not putting up new videos, I should say. I'm not putting up any new videos on YouTube for a while. I'm strictly going to be doing podcasts. I'm going to be doing them with myself, other people, my co-host, Robert Beninati, as well. So uh, those are going to be on YouTube and obviously everywhere else regarding my podcast. And you can find me anywhere else through my website, richchalinza.com. All right, take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.